Hello everybody. Wanted to wish you a happy Yom Yerushalayim from here in Efrat, which is in Gush Etzion, in Hare Yehuda, to you guys in the heart of Cleveland. I'm going to be sharing a story with you now, one of my favorite stories about Yom Yerushalayim, uh, which involves a song. In Tel Aviv, Naomi Shemer sits and ponders her latest creation. For her, it was a miracle which began on May 15, 1967. Some 3,500 people had crowded into Binyanei Ha'uma in modern Jerusalem to attend the annual song festival commemorating Yom Ha'atzmaut. For two months, she wrote nothing at all. But as she went about her daily activities, she thought about the Jerusalem she had known as a girl. She remembered how her Polish parents spoke of their own birthplace of Vilna as the Jerusalem of the diaspora as if every other city could only be second best. She remembered the colors, the sounds, the silent mood of Jerusalem, her childhood visits to biblical places closed forever to her since 1948. She thought too of a story from the Talmud in which the wife of the great Rabbi Akiva lived in poverty for years so that her husband might pursue his studies. When Rabbi Akiva became a famous and learned man, he rewarded his wife with a Yerushalayim Shel Zahav, a gold pin hammered out in the shape of the ancient city to be worn as a symbol of her devotion. Naomi Shemer took the Talmudic phrase, Yerushalayim Shel Zahav, Jerusalem made of gold, and used it as the title for her song. It was to be a song of nostalgia, of regret, for a city she had personally lost. Yerushalayim Shel Zahav, Vishal Nechoshet Vishal Or, then quoting from the medieval Hebrew writer, Rabbi Yehuda Halevi, she continued, let me be a violin for all your songs. For the first time in modern song, she referred to the ancient wall Jerusalem carries around her heart and talked of the sights of the old city, sights Jews of today would never see. The water cisterns are dry, the marketplace is empty. We cannot visit our temple in the ancient city where winds wail in the rocky caves. Over the mountains, we cannot go to the Dead Sea by way of Yericho. Your name burns my lips like a seraphim's kiss. Let me not forget thee, O Jerusalem of gold. At Binyanei Ha'uma in Jerusalem, it was already close to midnight when her song was sung. Fourteen other melodies had already been performed to full orchestral appointment and polite applause. Then a young girl, discovered by the composer herself only a few days before, and unknown to the general audience, walked out on stage. Her only accompaniment was her guitar. As she sang Yerushalayim Shel Zahav, the audience grew hushed. When she finished, there was a second of silence, then ear-splitting applause for nearly seven minutes. Naomi Shemer's personal sense of loss, it turned out, was every Israeli's. Yerushalayim Shel Zahav had to be played once more by popular demand. This time, the second time the song had ever been performed, the entire audience joined, joined in the refrain. And on the same night, the Jewish audience was singing of a Jerusalem they would never see. Gamal Abdel Nasser was moving his troops to the Sinai Peninsula. In the days after Naomi Shemer's song was premiered, the soldiers of Israel began to leave their homes and prepare for battle. They took with them almost no personal belongings, but somehow, as the song was played over and over on the radio in the early days of mobilization, they took the song. Then the telephone calls and letters began. Soldiers wrote to Naomi Shemer to tell her how they sang her song in the fields in the evening. Performers called to ask if they might begin and end their programs for the military with her song since the soldiers invariably requested it. A high member of the armed forces called to invite Naomi Shemer to sing her song for the troops stationed around Jerusalem. Although she does not often perform, she accepted. On Sunday, June 4th, Naomi Shemer was called to one of the Army's central command posts to be given a new troop entertainment assignment. She was introduced to some of the top military leaders in Israel, including Brigadier General Azar Weizmann, Deputy to Major General Yitzhak Rabin and Brigadier General Ariel Sharon, Division Commander who was to lead one of the main thrusts in the Sinai campaign. Sharon turned to her and in his usual blunt fashion said, 
It's important you should come sing for us. It was arranged for Naomi Shemer to go down to Sharon's base in the Negev in Azar Weitzman's plane. Late that afternoon, the songwriter from Tel Aviv and the deputy commander of Israel's armed forces flew together to the encampment of Sharon's troops in the south. Dinner that night consisted of tomatoes, cucumbers, and eggs. Nobody talked much. After dinner, the young woman waited to be asked to sing, but she was not. Finally, Sharon Zay drew her aside. The war will be tough, he began, and we have reason to believe it will be soon, very soon. We have decided there will be no singing tonight. She said nothing. Still, he added, you do not know how important it is to us to have you here. It's difficult to explain, he continued, but you are a poet, a musician, and somehow we wanted someone with a soul to share this time with us. Late that night, the men moved out, and on Monday morning, radios announced that war had broken out. Naomi Shemer set out to help in the only way she knew. On Tuesday, she joined the troops outside Rafa, singing for them in the evening. On Wednesday, they moved to El Arish, where scattered infantry fighting was still going on. She and several other entertainers were huddled around a column built, ironically, by the Egyptians to commemorate their 1956 victory over the Israelis in Sinai. Someone had a transistor radio. Suddenly, an announcer broke into the music. The city of Jerusalem has been taken. The program switched to Jerusalem itself. Gunfire could be heard behind the announcer's voice as he described the paratroopers block by block fight into the heart of the old city. Now some of the troops were advancing towards the Wailing Wall, he said. Then in the background, indistinctly at first, there was the sound of a song, a hymn rather sung by what sounded like hundreds of men in hoarse voices gasping for breath between lines. Yerushalayim shel zahav, v'shel nechoshet v'shel or. Halo l'chol shiraich, ani kinu. We are standing on the road that leads to the city of the city. We will be the first to enter it. To the city, to the city, to the city, to the city. We are standing and standing in the city of the city. Naomi Shemer, crouched by the side of an Egyptian wall, listened to the broadcast. She heard the announcer's description of the tanks and trucks coming into the city, many of them plastered with banners reading, Yerushalayim Shel Zahav. Tears ran down her cheeks. Then, in the middle of the sounds of the battle in El Arish and in Jerusalem, a very small, personal thought occurred to her. She would have to rewrite the second stanza of her song. There was no longer need for nostalgia. Yerushalayim was theirs. Later that evening, when the Israeli soldiers had gathered in the camp in the desert, the young woman got up before them. I shall sing for you a stanza I have just added to Yerushalayim Shel Zahav. Because when I first wrote the song, Yerushalayim was just a beautiful dream for all of us, and now it belongs to us. And as the soldiers listened, she said, We have come back now to the water cisterns, back to the marketplace. The sound of the shofar is heard from the wailing wall in the ancient city. And from the rocky caves in the mountains, a thousand suns are rising. We shall now go to the Dead Sea by way of Yericho. The soldiers clapped and clapped without stopping. And she said to them, I am the one who should applaud you. Because it is far easier to change a song than to change a city. Wishing you all a wonderful Yom Yerushalayim and hope to see you all here soon. Yerushalayim shel zahar Veshel nechoshet veshel or Halo lechol shiraich Ani kino Yerushalayim shel zahar Veshel nechoshet veshel or Halo lechol shiraich Oh.
האחר של הקיר, לכותל המערבי. ברגע זה אני עובד במדרגות אל הכותל. זהו הכותל, ואני נוגע באבני הכותל המערבי. איחדנו מחדש את ירושלים המבוטרת. חזרנו לקדושים שבמקומותינו. חזרנו על מנת שלא להיפרד מהם לעולם. <עוד> 